So this is the lecture series on important MCQ questions answer on digital image processing and I have already covered one session the link for which you will find in the description box below so go through it if you have not already and do remember that this question will be very very important for the examinations like UGC and TNN and PhD entrance examination in Stroh Scientist post and placement interviews and other competitive examinations well so let's start today's session see uh, after asking one question i will pause for around 10 seconds so at that time you may answer the questions for comment and after the end of the session you find out that what is the score you have means correctly answered the questions and do let me know about your score okay and one question will be asked at the end try to answer it today's first question that is from question number eight is which of the following is not used in standard jpeg image compression option a huffman coding option b run length encoding option c zigzag scan option d kl transform and your time started now so the answer to this question is option d that is kl transform and do remember that kl transform is based on the statistical properties of the image and has several important properties that make it useful for image processing particularly for image compression well i'm just asking you one small question that what is the full form of kl transform to comment it next question is question number nine if the histogram of an image is clustered towards origin on x-axis of a histogram plot then it indicates that the image is fill in the blank option a dark option b good contrast option c bright option d very low contrast time started and answer to this question is option a that is dark so i hope you all know about the histogram so let me tell you in brief histogram is the graphical representation of the tonal distribution in a digital image x-axis represents the tonal variations and y-axis represents the number of pixels and histogram for a very dark image will have most of its data points on the left hand side of the graph and histogram for a bright image will have most of its data points on the right side of the graph you please note down these two points if it is dark then it will fall towards the left side and if it is bright it falls towards the right side and question is asking about what towards origin on x-axis means uh, you know origin origin will be what in which side we have the origin can you tell me obvious left hand side so that that's why the answer is option a dark now coming to the next question question number 10 mpeg involves both spatial compression and temporal compression the spatial compression is similar to jpeg and temporal compression removes fill in the blank frames option a temporal option b voice option c spatial option d redundant time started yeah and the correct answer is option d so mpg involves both spatial compression and temporal compression the former is similar to jpg and the latter removes the redundant frames so option is d and this question is asked in UGC net examination september 20 2013 so coming to the next question to convert a continuous image 
fxy to digital form, we have to sample the function in option A, coordinate option B, amplitude option C, all of the mention option D, none of the mention. Your time just started. And the correct answer is option C, that is all of the mentioned coordinates and amplitude. Both of them will be required. Okay. Then question number 12. To convert a continuous sense data into digital form, which of the following is required? Do you remember I have said continuous sense data? Okay. Option A, sampling. Option B, quantization. Option C, both sampling and quantization. Option D, neither sampling nor quantization. Time started. And answer to this question is option C, that is both sampling and quantization. And I have discussed, discussed this sampling and quantization in details in my previous lectures, one of my previous lectures. Okay, and very important thing, so go through it if you have not already. So coming to the next question, discernible small details of images, option A, wide domain, option B, special domain, option C, frequency domain, and option D, algebraic domain. Your time started now. And three, two, one. Your answer to this question will be option B, that is special domain. So discernible small details of images. What this this <coughs> special domain contains the discernible small details of image. So continuing to question number fourteen, the innermost membrane of the eyes. Option A, eyelid, option B, cornea, option C, retina, option D, sclera. So, time started. So, you have five seconds left. And the answer to this question is, Option C, that is retina, the innermost membrane of the eye is our retina. Next question, for a continuous image FXY, how could be sampling defined? Option A, digitizing the coordinate values. Option B, digitizing the amplitude values. Option C, all of the mentioned. And option D, none of the mentioned. Time started now. And answer to this question is, yeah, three seconds left. Well, the answer is option A, that is sampling is the method of digitizing, digitizing the coordinate values of the image. Okay, coordinate value. Sampling is related to digitizing the coordinate values of the image. So, now coming to the question number 16. For continuous image FXY, quantization is defined as option A digitizing the coordinate values, option B digitizing the amplitude values, option C all of the mentioned, and option D none of the mentioned. And this question, I am giving it to you as a homework. Try to answer it. And if you can't, don't mind, I will answer in the next lecture. But don't forget to tell me the score you have obtain in this lecture so guys take care bye bye